Yeah, so here's the first part of my dog review. Um, this one's pretty cool. He does it like that. Jack! Is I did it? it! What year is it? I uh, finally... I fixed it. What happened? My Xbox. I haven't been able to connect it for so long. Your, your 360? What? You... No, my Xbox. The, the, the first one. My Xbox One. The what? Uh, my Xbox. The, that means something else. What? So I've been putting this off for a while now, but today we're gonna remove a clock capacitor. You'll want to either desolder it or just wiggle it off with some pliers. You'll also want a screwdriver set so we can actually get into the system. I'll have my stuff linked below. A quick rundown on the capacitor for those who don't know, the capacitor lets the Xbox keep track of time when unplugged. People notice that on models 1 to 1.5, they leak fluid and the fluid can actually eat through your motherboard. Which is, uh, bad. Before you do anything, let's check your revision number and make sure you actually even need to remove it. A quick way to check is go to the date. From January 2001 to April 2004, that's 1.0 all the way to 1.5. There is some overlap though, as 1.6 starts in March of 2004. If you have the overlap, I'd check the AV port. The AV port looks different on the 1 to 1.5 compared to the 1.6. This is what mine looks like, and it is a 1 to 1.5. It's a little hard to tell, but there's almost like a cutout at the bottom of the 1.6 AV port. Hopefully that was enough for you to be able to figure out what revision you had. There are other ways to figure that out, but I'm going to assume for the majority of people, you're good from just those two, if not the first one. So we can go ahead and open this bad boy up. There are six screws on the back that you're gonna wanna take out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once you've removed the screws, you can go ahead and try to pry it open. You may be able to open it easier if you tilt it onto its side, or you may have no luck with that at all and wanna put it back flat down. Or maybe you even wanna tilt it in a slightly different manner. That's all, of course, you know, hypothetical, because obviously I got it on my first try. Anyways, once we finish up opening the actual system, you're gonna be greeted with a DVD drive, a hard drive, and a big ribbon cable. We're gonna go ahead and take off the ribbon cable from the hard drive and DVD drive and get that out of the way. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is the power cable for the hard drive is kind of tucked away, and we wanna just go through and undo those runs and then we can go ahead and start unscrewing stuff. It's only gonna take two screws before we can wiggle out the hard drive and then just go ahead and set it aside. And the DVD drive only needs two more screws also. Once you unscrew it, grab onto it, wiggle it over and just move it to the side. Don't need to unplug anything. Now on to the moment we've all been waiting for, the clock capacitor. So where is the clock capacitor exactly? It's right here. Now I did try to use wire cutters. I read somewhere that you could do that I have no clearance for that whatsoever, so I decided to just use pliers and gently wiggle the pins until they snap. You want to be careful with this. The whole thing with the capacitor is that they gradually leak fluid. So if you're being too rough with it, you're just going to get a bunch of fluid everywhere and kind of defeat the point of you taking it out before it goes bad. Mine came out pretty clean. It actually looks like it wasn't leaking fluid at all, but yours may have leaked some fluid. I have heard differing opinions on how to clean that up. Some people have said use isopropyl alcohol. Some people have even said vinegar. I've heard mixed information on this and I didn't have to clean mine, so I'm not gonna give a recommendation for cleaning it. But there we go. That's how you remove the clock capacitor. Hey. <laughs> Like that lip noise. <laughs> My ASMR. His beard's green. Look at the shine. <laughs> Look at them shine. Oh, 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 oh. That's cool. It's from all that smoking, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> 